At Photo Plus 2014 in New York City, I'm Michael Artsis for Be Terrific and GeekBeat.tv as well as Planet5D.com. Thanks so much for joining us wherever you're watching. I've got Todd from Samsung. You guys are just blazing a path with all these new exciting cameras and you're saying, hey, we're here, we're Samsung and we've got something to say about the whole space. Don't only display on our 4K TVs, we want you to also be shooting with our cameras that shoot 4K. The NX1 is gorgeous out later this month and it's a crop sensor from what I understand and we're talking about 4K on board and also being able to output uncompressed 4K. Correct, yes. Um, it's actually the largest sensor 4K camera that records on camera, so APS-C size and it's the first ever APS-C size sensor with backside illumination technology. So that actually lets you get much larger light sensitive pixels, so excellent performance in low light and adding resolution. So it performs like a 20 megapixel APS-C as far as low light, but it has 8 million more pixels, so 28 megapixel, largest resolution APS-C sensor in the world and the, the only 4K recording APS-C uh, sensor on the planet. It's really, really awesome. It's got a headphone jack, it's got a mic in, and you can also get third-party adapters to put other lenses on, although you guys have beautiful lenses. You're talking, this one's a 16 to 50 millimeter, 2.0 to 2.8 f-stop. And, you know, what's really exciting about this is the images and the video that's come off of it that I've seen displayed right from inside the camera talking about compressed images. What's the Kodak that we're compressing these images at? Uh, for, the, for the video, it's uh, the new Kodak HAVC or H.265. So it's twice the, um, it's the same image quality at half the bit rate, uh, half the file size. That's amazing. Yeah. And then what are we doing? It's JPEG and RAW? You can do JPEG, you can do JPEG and RAW, of course. Yep. Unbelievable. Um, and it's the, the most exciting part about this camera, I think, is the price point. Right, at $1,500 US for the body, uh, we're quite competitive. You know, you're getting a 28 megapixel sensor, the highest resolution APS-C sensor in, in the world, the largest 4K recording camera. Um, and we also have a couple other lenses that are really interesting with it. You mentioned the 16 to 50 f2 to 2.8, it's a great lens. We also have a brand new uh, 50 to 150 2.8 uh, constant aperture zoom, and it's an internal zoom, so when you zoom the lens, it doesn't get bigger. Wow, that's phenomenal. That yeah. means that when you hang it upside down or sideways or you're holding it, the lens doesn't just slide out. Exactly, right. Yeah. We've got a couple other beautiful primes. There's an 8514, just exquisite. That's That's got to be a staple in the bag. Absolutely. I like it. All right. And uh, end of the month for this, uh, the footage is awesome. I can't wait to get my hands on one and play with it and shoot with it and, and see exactly how great and how we can push it. I love the fact that you can come out to an Atomo Shogun or Ninja Recorder or an Odyssey. Uh, 7Q or something else and even step up your production a little bit uncompressed 4K out of there over HDMI. It's, there are so many things you can use this for and of course you've got this beautiful screen on the back as well. other things I'd be glad to show you on yeah. it. Um, course, yeah, I'd love tilting screen. It's completely touch as well. It's capacitive touch so you can use two fingers on it. Um, and it has Bluetooth, um, which is really interesting. You can, you can pair it with your smartphone and anytime you want to transfer an image, um, it's very, very simple. You don't have to create a, uh, a link and wait and go through endless menus. Just push this button on the back of the camera and you can send whatever you're, the picture you're looking at right over to your phone. You could use your phone as a um, monitor to, to set up as a, a remote. That's awesome. And, and so when you send it over, are you sending over the full size or are you sending over different sizes? You can choose. So you could send over the entire high resolution image or you could choose to, to send over a lower resolution. That's great. I love that. All right. So that's packed with features, very reasonable price, very exciting. I can't wait to start shooting with this. And then you've got uh, this, which you can upload right from. This is the Galaxy line, the Galaxy NX, and you've got its, its little Galaxy uh, Mini as well. Right. So we have the sort of family here of the, the, Gal or the NX products. Um, the very most interesting one, in my opinion, is the Galaxy NX because it actually runs a full version of Android and it has a SIM card slot, so it's actually like a data device. You can put a data SIM in it um, and it's always connected, so your camera is always online. The second you want to do something with a picture, 
So this is great for event photography as well because you can upload pictures as you're taking them, especially for like Twitter and stuff like that. Absolutely, and because it has the 4.8 inch screen on the back, it's such a big screen, you can use Snapseed, you can use all the other apps to edit right on the camera um, in this big beautiful screen and then see exactly what you're gonna upload in higher resolution. And you could change the lenses on that as well. Absolutely, so it's, our, it's the same NX mount, APS-C 20 megapixel sensor, this is a really fun, unique, unique camera. And what's the price point? Uh, I'm not actually sure exactly what it's selling for right now in various markets. Okay, but it's affordable. And then talk about this as the same concept. Um, so NX Mini, what we've done here is we've we've brought mirrorless cameras to the masses of people who probably discovered photography from their smartphone, and they've done the selfie thing with their smartphone. And they like it, but they really want to step up. They've seen pictures with the blurry backgrounds, and they want a better camera. They'll look at even our, our smaller NX camera, and they're still, still a little bit too big. But they want something better than their smartphone, and this is the perfect camera for that person. It's using a one-inch type sensor, which is still dramatically larger than any uh, smartphone sensor or compact camera. It's interchangeable lenses. And it's the very slim, it's as, it's as small as a point and shoot. And it's got NFC technology as well. It does, it has NFC, it also has Wi-Fi, so you can do all the transferring very easily. And of course, uh, the full flip screen for the selfie. That'll power the camera on when you flip it up, and you can even activate the screen with a wink. With a wink. So you can wink, and it'll take your selfie. About two seconds later, it takes the picture. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so I think we got a couple of selfies right there. Yeah, I think we did. We might have to uh, tweet those or something. Okay. <laughs> Sure. Todd, I love what Samsung is doing. Um, thank you so much for joining us, and I think it all works well with the phones and with the tablets and with the screens. So I, I really love what Samsung is doing, and, and thank you for joining us and taking the time today. I really appreciate it. I'm Michael Artsis from the Photo Plus Show 2014 in New York City. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to download our app in Android and on iTunes. It's called... The Be Terrific app, you can find it at beterrific.com slash app. Thanks so much for watching. Be terrific.